Hey, welcome guys. I'm going to talk about palm muting today. Um, if you don't know what palm muting is, or if you're relatively new to the guitar and someone has said to you, hey man, you need to do more palm muting, it's this chunky sound that you get. So you have this chord there. It's that chunky sound that you get that makes it sound good enough to eat, you know, very nice and chunky. So how do you get it? It's basically it's this magic part of your hand here. This, uh, if you're Japanese, uh, shuto, which is uh, the knife hand. Or if you're not Japanese, it's just this part here, all right? So you've got to imagine almost that you're doing some sort of like karate chop or something like that on the side of the guitar. Um, in case you're wondering, it doesn't really matter if you're one of those people that likes to have a finger on the guitar or whether you like to hold your fingers in. It's not an issue, all right? It really doesn't make any difference. So. We're just going to put that side of our hand to the strings there, and we're going to lightly rest them on there. If you do it too hard, you'll actually sort of push the strings out of tune. You'll actually make you'll push them a bit sharp, which is a bit higher. So uh, try and experiment with getting the right tension. You know, again, like anything, it just takes practice. So you can see there that part of my hand. It's covering uh, the bottom three strings, the three heaviest strings there, because we're just playing chunky chords. If I wanted to mute these higher strings for like some lead guitar parts, you know, I'd just, you know, concentrate the energy of my hand down there. I'd just move it down there a bit when I come to go there. But the majority of the time we're going to be using this technique for riffing and stuff like that. Um, some people have quite a soft approach with their picking, and they're a bit more like this. It's very subtle. Whereas I'm a bit more like this. I like it to be really chuggy and stuff like that. And there's also, uh, if you move your hand backwards towards the bridge, Here it's a bit softer back there because there's less there's less of my hand actually being able to mute the string there. So as, as I move it back towards the middle, it becomes a bit heavier again, a bit chunkier. Also, if you move it towards where the neck begins here, you get another type of sound. It's very different there. You hear that? Almost like you get a lot of extra noise. It almost blunts out the notes a bit, a bit more, but it, it gives. It's very hard to describe it. But it's almost like a like you've got extra wind or something blowing through your speakers. It's a very boom, boom, boom type sound. So there is a sweet spot there that you will find is something that suits you. Okay, for me, it's sort of like in the middle between the two. Too far backwards and it's too soft. Too far forwards and the note definition vanishes a little bit. Uh, so yeah, find the sweet spot there. It is in there somewhere. And pretty soon you'll be uh, chugging away like Hetfield himself. So, enjoy. Uh, see you next time. The only opponent is within. <laughs>